Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Ba Shem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching the truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Transliteration or Translation. What is the difference? Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, the Allah Hayyam created the heaven and the earth. In this lesson, we will examine Genesis 1 and 1, magnifying the term God in Hebrew. According to the Hebrew, the term for God Strong's H for 30, Allah Hayyam, Allah Hayyam. When we define the term transliterate, and my source is Etiman online, it means to write a word in the characters of another alphabet. Also, Across letters, across character, meaning what? To write a word in the characters of another alphabet. When we look at H430, we see the term or the Hebrew characters, Allahayam. And the reason why I'm able to pronounce that through the spirit of the Most High is because we're utilizing the characters from right to left. Okay? From right to left. So, the character Ah, La, Ha, Ya, Ma. Okay? When we convert this or write these letters in the English, the ah, we will write what? A-H. For la, L-A. For ha, H-A. For ya, Y-A. And then we will use a connector to connect ya and ma. Why? Because this term is plural. Okay? So, utilizing the connector, it would be Y-A and that connector, M. And due to us using that connector, we would drop off the A. So, A-H-L-A-H-A-Y-A connector, M. Allahayam. Okay? This is... An example of transliteration, crossing letters from the Hebrew characters to the English characters. Okay? When we focus on translate, same source, Etiman online, it means to turn from one language to another. The term for God in Hebrew is Strong's H 430 Allahayim Allahayim and the translation for Allahayim from the Hebrew to the English would be powers, powers, okay? The difference from translate is you turn one language to another and compare to transliterate you are actually writing a word in the characters of another alphabet. That is the difference. Lord will, you're edified. Shalom.